This is an example of how you can easily create a cover page within AutoCAD Electrical. And we're going to use duplicated attributes. In other words, we're going to repeat an attribute, which may be in another part of the title border, and we can repeat it inside of um, an, another block as an example. Um, you can see these are just pieces of text. So I'll just um, be consistent and we'll put job number with a colon on the end. And similarly, one for location. And this is just a rectangle that we've got in. I'm going to use the command called at def, which is A double T D E F, which you can type or you can pick from the home ribbon tab. Um, and I'm going to create a new attribute just called C2. Now, I do my existing client attribute, which is shown in the bottom right hand corner of my title border, it has an attribute tag of C. So I'm just going to use C2, and obviously I could add a prompt saying client as well. I'm going to pick up on an insert field option, an object, and then select the object. I'm going to select the title frame itself and pick the attribute called C. And you can see that the preview of this information, client, is going to be in there, and I'll put it in as uppercase only. And we'll change the text to 10 millimeters, so it's it's quite big. In other words, it's bigger than the text that's shown down there. And we can click on OK and insert that. And I'll just repeat that process. So I'm now going to have one for a um, job, which we'll just put in as J2 and object. And just need to put, reposition those fields. And that was actually job JN before job number, but J2 is fine. And we'll insert that. Oh, that's actually going to go above. And just repeat again. Um, I'm going to have one for contractor, so I'm going to use CO2. And again, pick on the description CO. And we'll position that just there. And then finally, we'll have one for the contractor location, which will be CL2. I always use uppercase um, for my attribute tags. Um, you get a level of consistency. CL2. It doesn't matter about the prompt. The prompt can be whatever you want it to be. I'll position that there. And then we'll just move these accordingly. And there's our title board. Now, of course, if I want to change the colour of these, I can, can do that. I'll just use properties. And we're going to put those on layer zero in this instance. And we might as well as well insert a, a logo, a big logo. In this case, the cab line logo. So I'm using the command insert object. I create from file. I'm not linking it, though. Um, Linking it tends uh, means that you've actually got to uh, always send that uh, part out with with your project. And that's a little bit too big, so we're just going to scale that just down by a quite a considerable amount. I would say 0.2. And we'll just move it and position it over here. And then I can just grab the grip in the corner and adjust the sizing accordingly. Now there's our additional attributes done. All I've actually got to do is block that information up. So just use block. And, and I'm going to call this cover. And we can select those objects. And that is now my new cover page.